Now, education experts and activists are warning that the sharp decline in high school mathematics enrollment threatens South Africa's future in science, technology and engineering. Now, high schools are quietly facing a crisis that could shape South Africa's workforce for years to come with a sharp shift from mathematics to mathematics literacy among pupils, especially in under-resourced and township schools. Now, Sis Open, a managing director and independent education consultant, uh, Dr. Moavia Khali, uh, calls it South Africa's invisible crisis. And Dr. Khali now joins us virtually to discuss uh, the sharp decline in high school maths enrollment. Dr. Khali, thanks for your time. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Thank you very much. Uh... So you point to the sharp decline in high school maths enrollment, and, and you say it's an invisible crisis, but exactly how bad is the situation? Well, at the moment, um, we constantly, oh, every year, about 1.2% of students at matric level drop mathematics as a percentage of the cohort of learners doing maths. Now, this has been going on since 2018. So in the total number of learners who did mathematics in 2018, it was 44% of the learners. We are now at 36%. And so that is over six years, 8.1% of learners have dropped from maths to math, mathematical literacy. The real issue is if we do nothing about it, if, uh, let's assume for the next six years we do nothing, 36% will become 28%. And now we then less close to only a quarter of our, our learners doing mathematics. But the real issue is it's not only about mathematics as a subject. Because mathematics is carrying uh, ideas like critical thinking, innovative understanding. Those are the skills that we need. It's not just about uh, uh, a subject. You're not getting that with mathematical literacy. So uh, has the department or any other entity for that matter embarked on any sort of qualitative research, Dr. Khali, uh, to establish the actual facts and also what some of the underlying issues may be? Well, what we've been doing all the time was all about what is called fixing up things. What we're dealing with here is a broken mathematical uh, approach and you can't fix something that is broken so we spend constantly ask teachers to come to workshop for for one days or three days but the system is broken and what we look for and we we should not forget this mathematical problem is not a uh, a problem that just uh, surfaced it was designed and I, if we go back, and I'm old enough to, to know that for food says that black people should not do mathematics. And so that's the underlying uh, basis that we are fixing the problem and we're not recreating a new understanding of mathematics with our teachers and our learners. And it's not just the matric. Two years ago, 2023, uh, the results of the term study indicated that our best performing learners are performing at the same level as the worst learners in Singapore. And we were in the same study. So there's a, un a uniquely difference between the quality of mathematics that we have and other countries. Mm. So it's a sad indictment because South Africa first participated in the TIM study in 1995. And even then, we were at the bottom of the pile. Uh, and even though if you look at the data going forward uh, up to 2019, you do see an increase, but still, as you say, not enough because we are still worse than, uh, you know, uh, some other countries that are in the study. That being said, though, we've known what the problems are with regard 
to math science uh, education in South Africa. It's 31 years on. New systems have been designed. So what is the problem? Why are we failing to fix this? Well, uh, it was interesting. Um, um, I spoke to Leanne in 2010 about this issue, and we raised it 15 years ago. And, and what we can do outside of the system is to assist and to alarm and to help the system itself. But we need the system to take on and do things differently. I think just a day or two ago, I had a conversation with a colleague uh, in the department, and it's starting to reflect around uh, doing what we call transformative work instead of uh, improvement work. When you do improvement, ma'am, and you are at 5% and you improve by 5%, that means you are still at 10%. And what people can do, it can claim that you've improved by 100%. 100% of 5% only gets you to 10%. That's the real problem and the story that we're telling. We're telling people in the news that from 5% we improve by 100% to 10%, but we're still 90% away from 100%, which should be our dream as any country in the world. So we're not getting there, and now the alarm is raised around what happens with regard to maths vis-a-vis uh, -vis maths literacy uh, in the higher band of our schooling system. The reality is, though, and you would know this, uh, Dr. Khali, children are failing at foundation phase. So there's a bigger problem here. And the problem starts way before we get to high school. And again, we've known this for decades. Why aren't we improving? Why aren't we addressing the fact that we don't have, in many instances, the teachers who can actually teach and assist here? Well, uh, we, we have what is called a quality assurance pr problem, what is called in business monitoring and evaluation. A control system. You, if you, if you are supposed, as the system and even CAPS is expecting you to give your learners thirty percent of easy question in an exam, forty percent medium questions, and thirty percent high question. That is a standard internationally. But if you now give your learners fifty or sixty percent of easy questions and 10% of and 20% of medium and hard questions, they get good results out of the 60% of easy questions and you create a perception that they're good, but they're only good in the easy questions when they get the international study and they only get 30% of the easy ones. And they get, even if they get 100% of the easy ones, they're only getting 30% because they can't do the medium and hard work. And those are the systems that we need to put in place to make sure that whether you are in a, a, an urban area or in a rural place, those learners should be getting the same quality as anyone else uh, in, in the country. The reality and is... And our systems what you need to look at, sorry. So, so Dr. Khali, the reality is we're not, we're not getting what it is that we need in the system. We, we haven't got it for 31 years. Uh, seemingly for the foreseeable future, we still don't seem to be on track. So what do we need to do practically? Where are these teachers going to come from who will actually be able to take these kids and not uh, somehow force them into taking maths literacy as opposed to pure maths uh, because things are just not happening. Uh, because at some point we've got to, it's, uh, we have to establish, hence I asked about the qualitative research. It can't always be the children who don't know how to do maths. At some point we've got to ask about other factors that contribute to this problem. Absolutely. So, ma'am, we, we don't have a teacher problem. We have a systems problem. 
And, and so I want to be quite clear. Our teachers can only do what they know. And if they only know the 30% of easy work that you need to do, that's what they will do. It's the system that needs to shape what's going on. And, and this problem, although we're raising it as a crisis, when we say it's a crisis, we can fix it up within the next three to five years. It's not something uh, insurmountable. It's not something that we can't uh, find a solution to. And we don't even need people outside of our country. We have enough capacity within our country to solve this problem. But we need to start now. As I indicated, we raised this in 2010. After 15 years, we're at the same spot as what we were 15 years ago. So we need to make a, uh, a decision how do we want to, to have successful mathematical uh, teaching and learning to our teachers and our learners? Dr. Khali, very interesting. And thank you so much uh, for engaging us and looking forward to further engagement. Uh, Dr. Muavias Khali, uh, CIS Open Managing Director and Independent Education Consultant, speaking to us about schools across South Africa not offering mathematics as a subject. And unfortunately, most often it is in the schools that serve the poorest of the poor. Well, uh, let's leave it there for now. We need to take a quick break.